Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a granola bar. I featured it in my um, polymer clay doll food video and I've, it's highly requested so I'm going to show you how to make it. First you'll want to start off with some ecru clay or tan clay. This is Primo Sculpey and it's oven, oven baked clay. Um, it, I just got it at Michael's. Um, and you're also going to need some black, black oven baked clay. To start off, you're just going to roll a ball of ecru clay to, um, yeah, and then just sort of start pressing it into a long rectangle, like a 3D rectangle. I'm not quite sure what the thing is for it. But, and then just sort of press down the ends so it looks kind of like a granola bar. You can also use a poly blade to make it sharper, but I kind of like the roundness of the edges. Now take some black and um, just start chopping it up randomly. It can be big chunks or whatever. This is going to be the chocolate chip, so you could also use brown if you wanted. Doesn't really matter. Um, or you could do like strawberries, you could use red, whatever you want to do. It's your granola bar. <laughs> so then just chop up. You don't need too many of these, but you can make as many as you want. Next, take your X-Acto knife or needle tool and start placing the black specks, I'll call them, onto the granola base, and then just randomly, the more random the better. You don't have to put it on the bottom unless you really want to, but that's up to you. So then do the same thing that you did with the black with the accrued clay, and you're just going to make it as ragged and granola textured as possible and chop it up. I'm using a poly blade. It sort of helps if you go into swishing like back back and forth motion with the poly blade. I didn't demonstrate it, but you can do that. And then just chop up. You're going to need a lot of this, so just do as much as you can. Next, take a needle tool, your X-Acto knife, and start placing the granola chunks onto the granola base and texturing it. As you can see, it's already forming a granola-like texture. And it turns out really cool, actually. Um, so then just do that. So there's your finished granola bar, and bake at 275 for 15 minutes or 275 degrees, and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye!